Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 3rd, 2020. Well, yesterday we had a record breaking rally to uh, really make for a wild price action day as uh, lots of volatility came into the market. So how about we settle into our chairs, maybe grab something to drink, and let's get started on the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep. So this morning, if we want to take a look at some technicals, pretty interesting chart going on here. If we take a look at the Dow, Dow, uh, an extreme move. This was a record breaking day yesterday in, in this move up nearly 1300 points in the Dow rallying back up, but it came with extreme volatility. We moved up and down and up and down and up and down yesterday in the price action. I'm going to go to a 15 minute chart and you can see we just had lots of whippiness until we finally really caught on into that rally. Now, what's what gave us this inspiration for such a big rally? Well, everyone seems to be banking on a, a, a huge a huge central bank intervention. Um, although there hasn't been any clues that they are willing to provide a central bank intervention just yet, um, the market is certainly responding substantially higher on the hopes of that. Now, I think, and, and this is just me talking, but it, you know, central bank intervention when we have a financial situation makes some sense. When we have a fear generated on a virus outbreak, I'm not sure how effective this is going to be if we do get that central bank intervention. Certainly markets absolutely love freshly printed money. It does, in fact, it doesn't even matter the cost or how damaging it might actually be uh, to the economy in the end. Boy, print us money and lower the rates. We're going to be really happy about it. So. And this may be short lived, I don't know, but it's kind of an interesting situation because this is really a paradigm that I've never experienced before. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure anyone has experienced a market like this that is um, so fearful of a potential outbreak. And then the idea that we may get a rate cut or something like that inspiring the market so dramatically. So the things I want to point out here in the chart are pretty simple. First off, we had a massive bounce up. In fact, I'm going to go to um, a, a moving average chart here first and note that the Dow dropped below its 500 day moving average. And even though we had this massive rally back up, it would be wise to remember that we are still about 500, uh, 520 points below the 200 day moving average still. So uh, even though we came back a long ways and the re relief rally was nice to see, this all or nothing market is really, really frustrating to me where we, um, we can't seem to have any stability in price action anymore because we're all based on either manipulation in earnings or manipulation from the uh, Fed or something along those lines, whipping us back and forth in these massive moves. But that being said, um, with 520 some points up here to resistance, notice we have a major price resistance in the chart. And that's what I marked over here on this chart without the moving averages that major price resistance that we will be running into. Now, of course, that price resistance could come in right here. We could also see some price resistance occur in the Dow chart right here. And um, it's going to be kind of an interesting thing as we run up here and challenge these resistance levels in the chart. I'm putting this up here because it really marks out the 200 day and probably the more significant level of price resistance in the chart. Now, keep in mind, if you take trades after such a massive move up, we run the risk of that news driven report that drives us back down. So be really, really careful on how you trade. And one of the things you want to avoid doing is over trading in this market because it would would anybody be surprised? if we have that news event that starts to drive us right back down 
um, in this market in these big uh, sweeping whips. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully and plan your risk very carefully moving forward. The, the allure of a big central bank intervention has the market in hyper mode right now. Um, what if they don't get it? What if they are unsatisfied with what they get? What if the FOMC disappoints um, the market? What happens then? And then what if we get more virus outbreak news continuing to raise fear and concerns uh, for the market ahead? How will that rate cut actually help um, uh, stave off any damage from a virus um, outbreak. I don't know. So kind of keep those things in mind and try to keep a level head when you trade. Don't get sucked in to these emotional swings. Be really, really careful because it's very easy to get caught up in the emotion and then end up just losing um, a huge portion of your account all at once. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also just a huge move back up. I'm going to look at the moving averages here and the SPY bouncing off its 500 day and actually piercing right back through its 200 day yesterday and actually breaking above a nice level of price support. Now the question is if we get some kind of a pullback will that price support hold? That's what we need to see. Will that price support actually hold in the chart? We also need to recognize that there are additional resistance levels above that we still have to deal with in the chart. So significant um, upside resistances um, here in the SPY that we still need to breach through. And could we do it? We absolutely could if we get, uh, if the market gets happy with um, uh, that central bank intervention. But don't, don't rule out the possibility of a, a pretty harsh swing back to test some support levels in the chart over the next few days. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, Qs had an interesting um, bounce, and they used the 200-day moving average as a launching pad to bounce right back up, breaking through this price resistance level in the chart. And now we're approaching that 50-day moving average resistance here. And notice we have some price resistance up in this area to deal with. Now, that 50-day moving average could serve as a significant level of resistance, and one that we will want to watch pretty closely. Um, it is a wild market to see us crush right through the 50, straight to the 200, and then right back up in a two-day move to test that 50-day moving average. So be careful of this volatility, guys. It is extreme. It is difficult to handle. And as a matter of fact, very, very dangerous unless you're very quick on your feet in this market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM breaking down significantly, and we, we powered right into that support level right here in the chart. And yesterday we reversed, bounced right back up off of that, push, pushing back up here above this little um, support area now, which was with some resistance in that price action, bouncing back above that and bouncing back above this little downtrend line that I have in here. Now the question is going to be, can we hold that area as support? We'll want to watch that carefully if we get a rest or pullback in here to see if we can hold that that level as support. Make note that we are still a long ways from our 200 day moving average. And we kind of have a double whammy up here with a 200 day and a 500 day um, right in our way as we move back up in significant levels in the chart. The technical damage that we have here in this chart is going to be very, very difficult to work through, I think. And so we'll want to watch those levels pretty closely. So with that, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the VIX here this morning. Now the VIX, um, interesting price action here in the VIX. We just hammered hammered up hard. We ran all the way up here into that 50 handle. And though we've pulled back significantly, we dropped back down into the 30 handle. Notice um, notice we are still very elevated here in the VIX. If we happen to catch any price support in here, um, any place in this area. We catch support off of these highs um, over here. 
we catch support in these areas right in here in the chart, then watch for that next uh, move that could bounce us back up here in fear, particularly if we start getting any news reports um, damaging on the virus. Uh, of course, if that central bank comes in, if the FOMC comes in and does what the president wants them to do, and cut those rates to zero, hey, we could see this collapse back down uh, significantly, but just keep in mind the volatility of this market is very, very difficult to handle. Particularly option traders have to be very careful. All option prices have spiked tremendously. Bid ask spreads have widened out significantly, increasing the risk of these trades. So watch that carefully. Let's jump to T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And when I jump over here to this chart, this is kind of interesting to me, even though we had that whopping move up yesterday. Notice T2122 barely registered a move here. We come up out of the bottom, but boy, that is certainly not a significant move back up here and would suggest that we still have some more upside yet to come. That is kind of a concern to me. Um, so kind of an interesting situation to uh, take a look at. And then if I go to T2101, I think this is rather interesting here that absolute breadth of the market is spiking really, really high here. Um, as we continue to spike up, remember most of this is selling volume, not buying volume. And if we were to go back to our daily charts here on the diamonds, um, notice we had a big spike in volume, but it is significantly less than what we've seen. So this is just whip in here in the market. And it's it's really hard to determine how much of this um, is actually going to be supported over the long haul. So be really, really careful with this hip whip and be careful not to get sucked in uh, to this market. So uh, with that, let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot going on here. As you can see, we have motor vehicle sales numbers out today. We've got a couple of Fed speakers to make note of, but probably nothing to really worry about here on the economic calendar uh, for today. Tomorrow, we have some big numbers. We've got ADP, PMI, and uh, ISM. We'll have to keep an eye on those, but um, nothing major here on, on the calendar for today. Now, on the earnings calendar, we had have over 80 companies reporting earnings and a big round of retail uh, today um, reporting. So let's take a look. Um, Target will be reporting today and looks like it's moving just a little bit lower this morning. I don't know if it's reported or not, but Target will be reporting today. Um, AV, AV is reporting today, kind of a wide bid ask spread here. Um, so the no no um, report on that at this point. Um, AZO, AutoZone reporting this morning, looks like they're gapping lower here this morning. A little bit of a mess on their report. HPE, Hewlett Packard Enterprise will be reporting today. It doesn't look like we have a report there just yet. IGT reporting today, gapping significantly higher here this morning, gapping up into some price resistance in the chart. Certainly not one of those charts that is gives me the warm and fuzzy to want to buy, but nice gap up here this morning on their earnings report. How about Kohl's? KSS, KSS getting a little lift this morning on its earnings report. Uh, JWM, a little old Nordstrom's here, hasn't reported yet. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Roast, Ross Stores, gapping up slightly here this morning, it looks like, trying to move a little bit higher. Now, I can't tell if that's reported, actually. I should take that back. I don't think this is reported yet. It's it's indicating it about where it um, closed yesterday, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, Urban, Urban Outfitters, um, whoops. Um, Urban Outfitters reporting this morning. Um, no report here just yet. We'll want to keep an eye on that and VEEV is a few of the notables here this morning um, that we'll be reporting and things you might want to keep an eye on in those earnings reports. 
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a quick favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, folks, one of the things I try to do here is to avoid the emotion, to really focus in on the technicals of the chart and what's actually happening here. And if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could also do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment, um, helps us continue to grow as a channel and reaching out to, um, to more and more folks with um, no hype, no prediction, just good technical work in a chart. And, um, I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to leave those comments. I honestly, you guys, um, some of the comments are are uh, so wonderful, uh, very very humbling. Thank you very much for those who do take the time to do that. You're the best. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks now. I got to tell you, any stocks that we look at in here, we're going to have to be really, really careful of because of the whip that could occur in the market. And a lot of these stocks are so pushed out of shape, it's very, very difficult to make um, much of heads or tails out of them technically because of the massive moves that we've experienced in these charts. Take a look at Etsy. Now, Etsy is one I've been kind of keeping an eye on and Etsy holding up overall. I didn't mean to grab that line, but let's pull this up. And as you can see, Etsy is up here testing a price resistance level in the chart. And something we'll want to uh, keep an eye on here carefully because Etsy is pushing into that resistance and trying to break on through. Now, if this continues to slide sideways over here, consolidate, not showing a major effect on the overall market, Etsy could then pop on through there, provide a decent opportunity for a trade. If it doesn't slide over underneath resistance, it could actually pop above, then watch for that resting pullback to come back to trend for that next opportunity in the tr to a trade. Etsy looking pretty decent overall and something you might want to keep an eye on. Um, stocks that um, um, were defensive uh, sector um, areas that got drug into this move yesterday. Notice that we get a big bounce back in some of these defensive sector stocks yesterday. Um, bouncing back up here on Hershey. Now this is a dividend payer and this is where folks will sometimes run for a little bit of relative safety. We don't have a good pattern here and, and that's going to be the case in a lot of stocks right now. And if we take a look at this, any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity um, in Hershey to bounce back up and a place you might have to go is to actually go into a shorter term chart maybe an hourly chart to start looking for some of those price patterns where we move up hit resistance pull back find those buyers to push on through so any rest or pullback or consolidation in here that may hold maybe hold on to this trend gives you an opportunity for early entry into charts like that another trade that just had a whopping move back um, is um, WMT. WMT just a man oh man what a huge move back here on Walmart. Um, clearly some buyers wanting to pick up this stock so if this finds some support in here with a rest or pullback or consolidates across here there may be an opportunity for a trade in there but we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Other stocks in the tech sector like Microsoft Microsoft, nice move back up. We'll want to watch this pretty carefully as we test the underneath side of that downtrend right there, or uptrend, and hit this little resistance level where we gapped above and gapped below, leaving this island behind. That's a little bit of a concern and can be a resistance area. So we'll want to watch this in here. This can consolidate or settle down with a little pullback. There may be an opportunity to come up in here in Microsoft for that to come back. Stock Looks like NVIDIA also um, nice move back up they weren't as heavily punished as um, other stocks holding up well but once again notice we have this island up here with this resistance 
right in this area. So a little rest, a little consolidation in here would be wonderful. And then see that opportunity for that maybe to move higher could be some good opportunity in stocks like that. Um, you'll want to keep an eye on some of these gold stocks. Now gold got right at the end of this move, got heavily punished, um, pulled back. They just kind of got over overrun there for a little bit. Um, heavily punished but this is a big response back as well so now popping back up we're going to want to watch some of this area in here for a rest or consolidation now the reason i i want to kind of keep a, an eye on these is just simply because there's still an awful lot of fear going around this market and i'm not 100 percent convinced that a, a rate cut or an fomc is going to um, calm the nerves of this uh, virus particularly if it can continue to break out we now have over 100 confirmed cases here in the united states with six deaths and and um we're just at the beginning of this outbreak here in the United States. New states reporting um, occurrences of the virus. So this outbreak is continuing to potentially grow. Hopefully we can get a handle on it and, and it won't spread like it has in other countries. But for now, I think the fear is going to be significantly high. And we saw that um, yesterday with people rushing to stores, clearing off shelves, buying up everything they could find at Costco on foods that are are long shelf life type foods, uh, sanitizers, uh, vitamins, things like that. Clearing those shelves in Costco and, and other department stores, uh, bottled water, um, kind of an interesting situation. So that fear is real and it is out there. Speaking of Costco, let's take a look. Oops. There we go. Um, there we go. Costco, big whopping move back as those um, retail folks racing to pick up some supplies for the potential outbreaks. Um, you can see pushing up here and breaking through that price resistance in the chart. We'll want to watch that pretty closely here. Um, be a little bit careful about how we deal with that. But if this can rest or pull back in here, hold a higher low, there may be an opportunity in this chart. But let's watch that close as this fear really pushes markets um, all out of shape. Keep in mind, guys, that cash is a position you do not have to trade this market you can watch from the sidelines and let this wild volatility set down and there will still be plenty of opportunity in the market every single day we don't have to trade this wild price action keep that in mind so with that everyone i want to wish you all the very best thank you to everyone who subscribed leave a uh, that has left a comment you guys are awesome and we'll talk to you all bright and early wednesday morning have a good one everyone.